Hello, I'm Ken McNabb. I want to take a couple of minutes and talk to you about this bit. This is my lifter bit. Weaver Leather builds it for me. And what I did is I wanted to make a transition bit that would take my horse from the snaffle into whatever bit my training level is requiring. So I needed something that worked and functioned similar to a snaffle, but had the movement of a shank bit and the pull pressure of a shank bit. So what we did is we, we divided the shank basically in half and we took the leverage half of it and uh, you hook the reins to it and then the purchase rides from the bridle or from the mouthpiece above. When that's 50-50, what happens is it works exactly like a teeter-totter. If you put a 50-pound kit on one end and a 50-pound kit on the other end, they balance out. So when you hang that off the head stall, when you lift on the rein, the horse gets as much pressure as you have in your hands in his mouth. But he also, because of the lift on the rein pulls down on the mouthpiece, he also gets the exact same amount of leverage in his pole. So when you pick up on that rein, he feels it in his mouth and he feels it in his pole. So it basically runs from your hand down through his mouth and up to his ears. And all of that distance is the exact same pressure. There's no leverage conversion <clears throat> as long as you put the chin strap in the neutral position. All that chin strap does is keep the bit from slipping through his mouth and getting out of position. There's no actual curb pressure on that bit, much like a snaffle. A snaffle has no curb pressure. You put a chin strap on to keep it from rolling through his mouth, but it doesn't do anything. Same thing. So what we did is we sped up the pressure with the shank action, and we put pole pressure with a, a snaffle bit would not have. Made it the absolute perfect transition bit. I love to use this bit on young horses that are coming along, or I love to use it on old horses who have got to where they're pushy with their nose and want to lift their head above the bit and get their head elevation up too high. Really helps set their head, helps get their nose down where it belongs, and makes my horses overall ride a whole lot better.